better at you than this. I'm better. Wow, it went in the woods. I'm not getting it. You're getting it. No, you're getting it. No, you're getting it, Donald Duck. You kicked the ball in there. <sighs> Please. Oh, fine. I'll do it on one condition. You do your Donald Duck. Fine. <laughs> All right. Get it. Get it. Get it. so stupid. I, I literally kicked a ball in the woods and my friend he's I, he just made me like get get come into it. He also makes a Donald Duck impression which I really like to hear because um uh, because it's funny and, um but he, I like to hear how bad he Why am I telling you my whole life story? You're a stranger. Get off my lawn now. I'm sorry. Uh, we get the. Uh, you can deal no harm. Oh,
Everything okay? Look, I'm sorry your grandmother died. I'm I'm here if you need me. It's hard to believe it. I can't believe she's gone. You know, death always comes for everybody. It's an unavoidable part of life. <clears throat> but whenever it happens, you just gotta, you just gotta think, why here? Why them? Why now? Why? You know, after today, I'm gonna try to be my normal, happy, energetic self. It's just hard sometimes, but I'll try to be positive. Come on, let's go. Yo, Zach, how's the book going? You are writing a book, right? Yeah, I am. It's going good, it's just... Just what? I'm just trying to figure out how to uh, write the ending. Oh, I see. Endings are hard, but you'll do it. So, what are you up to? Oh, nothing. Just on a walk. I'm gonna see Logan to watch Beavis and Butthead. I've never seen it. Is it stupid? Oh, yeah. More stupid than South Park? Mm, I don't know. It's kind of hard. I haven't seen South Park in a while. Well, I better get back to this. Say hi to Logan for me. See you, man. Oh, I will. See you, man.
Why are you being so slow? Are you scared or something? Are you gonna come get me? I'll do the Donald Duck impression. If you come out, I'll do the Donald Duck impression. Landon, if you come out, I'll do the Donald Duck.
what's happening? Who is that guy? I don't like this. Hi, Zach. Would you like to play Dungeons and Dragons? Oh, you're writing your book? Okay, I'll call it Harold. Hey, Harold, would you like to play D&D? Oh, you with Mia hanging out? Okay, bye. Would you like to play D&D? You haven't really played before. <clears throat> oh, not interested, bye. Hi, Ray, would you like to come play Dungeons and Dragons? Oh, uh, bye. <sighs> I guess I can't play Dungeons and Dragons with only one person. Hey, Robbie. What? You're outside? You're... You're in my backyard? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I see you. I see you. You're by the, the fire pit. Yeah, I'll be down in just a sec. Hi, Robbie. What's up, Zach? 
How are you doing today? I'm pretty good. <laughs> Hi, bad. <laughs> this is a nice fireplace. There it is. Did you just get it? Yeah, premium quality too. I, I only used it once. Have you ever heard the story of Chicken Face? No. no let me tell you about it. There was once a man, a man of an unknown identity, who was a drug addict. One day, he came home drunk and dropped a needle on the ground filled with an unknown substance he had brought off a shady fellow. His skin accidentally absorbed the red substance. His mind snapped and he dragged himself across his lawn. He looked around and turned himself around before dragging himself back in the way he had come because he saw something in the distance near the broken needle where the red liquid was still seeping out. The item he saw was a chicken mask. He grabbed the chicken mask. And on the driveway, put it on and became known as the psychotic serial killer, Chicken Face. And that concludes the story of Chicken Face. And some say he's still lurking around here somewhere. That actually happened? Oh, I got a call. I got a bit. See you later. Bye. You see, Nate, I don't believe in the story of Chicken Face. It's just, who in their right minds would think that some psycho with a chicken mask would go around killing people. Plus, how do you even know that? You're probably just making up and trying to scare us. He probably didn't have a call. He was probably just scared. But none of it happened. I'm gonna go do something. Okay. Hello? Hi. Yeah. What's up? Why are you following me? Okay, so? Do you know who I am? Hello? Do I know you? You probably don't. Who is this? I... And chicken face. And I'm coming for you. Look at the little tree. Hello? What tree? Hello? Hello? What? What? Hello? Who's there? I'm over here, ma'am.
Hello? Anybody in here? I swear I heard a voice from over here. Not imagine it with, right? Hello? Anybody here? Hello? I'm somewhere else. Come and find me. Well, you have any fun colliding? Mine's broken. One of three. Look, this ball was kicked to us. I wonder who it was. The ball was kicked from the woods. I think too. We should go explore the woods. Look, the woods. What are you, chicken? I, I just don't want to go in there. It was your idea. Fine. Let's go. Right, let's go. What an interesting story. Was that like a, a story within a story? Because there was like the part where you talk about the chicken face's backstory, but then you explain the part about you like over here at the campfire telling your story to what you described to be Landon and Liam. So it's kind of like a story within a story, right? Yeah, I guess. Were those characters in your story based off of us? Yeah. Cool. But tell me, what sort of, what is important about this chicken face story? Why you talk, why you, why did you uh, bring that up? I don't know, I felt it was important. Yeah, but why was it important? Because you might want to watch out. Because some say he's still out there. The chicken face? Or is it the chicken face or is it just chicken face? I don't know how you, how you refer to him as. I think it's just chicken face. Just chicken face. 
there's something you should know. Chicken Face is friends with with the Machete Man, and they used to do drugs and drink together. The Kidnapper is the cousin of the Machete Man. Who's the Kidnapper? The Kidnapper is another uh, villain that goes around holding a machete, but he has like this black robe-like mask that he wears. Has he killed anybody? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's killed somebody before. When I heard the story of the Machete Man, I was told that he lived somewhere around here. So would his cousin possibly live around here? Yes. I heard the machete, the machete Man was killed. I believe so. By someone shooting him. <laughs> so short but I got something to do I'll be um I'll come back another time do you need help no I'm fine I uh, I gotta go all right see ya see ya just be careful right all right I will thank you
am I? I need to get out of here. No, please. Ah, uh, no, please. No, no. Please, no, uh, no. Ah. Help me. Help. Help me. Ah. Please, please, no. Robbie? It was you. It was you, wasn't it? You killed Robbie. Take that off. wearing the same shirt as me. Who are you? Me?
This is Landon's. If that's his shirt, if that's Landon's shirt, then where the hell is Landon? going on Oh, such a beautiful day today. Yeah. <sighs> How's drama club going for you? Uh, honestly, I only have a few lines. It's pretty boring. Yeah, I'm just not doing well on some of the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> so you're literally a pill bug. I know. I literally just read half of it. Same. <laughs> <sighs> dead ant, though. Yo, shut up. I'm a good dead ant. No, you're a jai dead ant. Thank you. You know, this is a place where me and my grandmother used to hang out. It was very nostalgic. I, I, I'm sad to be here. You know, it's kind of good for me to be at the field. Helps me cope a bit. <sighs> Are you enjoying your book? Oh, it looks pretty good. Hey, Hunter, how's that book? Oh, oh, sorry. I'm kind of invested in the story. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. The characters are written very well. At least in my opinion. But in your opinion, they might not be. Yeah, I'll probably read it one day. I like that it's about a group of boys that create their own society. Well, maybe we can do that. If we were to make our own society, like the boys in Lord of the Flies, we would not last long. Are you gonna sign up for D&D &D Club? Yes, I am. Great, because that is an awesome, fun club. Happy. I've, I've never played. It's fun, it's a fun game, but it's All very right. confusing if you pick a wizard. Oh, pick a fighter. Okay, I will pick a fighter. They're, they're easy to learn, until they're not. Oh, 
Oh, hey guys. What's up, Ray? Um, you sign up for D and D? Oh yeah, D and D is nothing without Raymond Daggerfeld. Okay. Raymond Daggerfeld. Son of Daginfeld. Is that your D and D name? Indeed, it is. You know, we have the same name, Ray Raymond. I'm going to be the DM. Okay, listen here. I am going to be the DM, whether you like it or not. I should be the DM. I am more experienced than you. I've been playing since I was like five. And you just started playing, like, I don't know, a few years ago? Oh, come on. That is some stupid butt reasoning. You may not believe it, but I'm more experienced. I never get the party in trouble on purpose. However, you, Harold, are a different story. Your nickname should be Harold the Hiccup. You know why? You always make hiccups while we're playing. You always make mistakes. Wait, wait, wait. No, you do not make mistakes. You do things on purpose. You always lead our party into danger and destroy our health points for no reason. We all know when you hide those dice behind that wall, you make up the numbers and so you can cheat and destroy us. Your name should not be Harold, not Harold the Hiccup, but rather Harold the Halfwit. That is what your name should be. Oh, you don't call me that. No, you cannot say that, bro. You cannot. Harold the Halfwit. Oh, you want to go? You want to go? Okay, okay. Want to go, man? Fine. I'll let you be the DM. We'll see how the others react while we're playing. And we'll see if we you do something stupid or cheat with the dice. And we'll take a vote. And if the majority w wins, then I will be the damn DM. Thank you. I'm going to fight orcs. I'm going to defend towns and do heroic stuff like that. Yes. I, Raymond Daggerfeld, son of Daginfeld, shall lead this journey on like the hero I am. Never fear, I will come to the rescue of any fair lady, maiden, queen, princess, or king, anybody pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta record this. Oh my god. <laughs> I will save any civilian king or queen in helpless need. Yes, I shall. <laughs> What are you even doing, man? <laughs> what? I'm getting into character. Fear not, indeed. Beware, evildoers, for I have a spear! <laughs> I steal you the constable's key to get out of jail. This is what you do? Hush! Let us celebrate with some ale. The occasion is momentous. Come on. Yeah, we should go get some drinks. Just like a couple of old buddies. For old time's sake. Oh yes indeed, buddy. <laughs> my, my. A reward from the princess. <laughs> Defending the kingdom is my reward. But, tis you are, since you are a high monarchy, I do accept the great reward. And, I say, are you doing anything tonight, princess? I do know a good bar. What was that? We have to go see. It could have just been other animals, like a squirrel or a chipmunk. It must have been made by something bigger than a squirrel. Something heavier. I myself so very much want to see it. Yeah, guys, let's go. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, Gary. You ever seen those movies? Like, that could mean that could be something really dangerous. What kind of movie? Blair Witch Project? Ooh, that one gave me the creeps.
Maya has seen a lot of scary movies. She automatically assumes that any noise in the woods is a serial killer about to jump out and stab her to death. You do know that's always, they're not always necessarily true, right? I really think we should go see this. We shouldn't. We really shouldn't. Come on, Mia, Gary, and Ray, let's go check it out. still think this is a bad idea. Ray, Gary, guys, come on, let's go. Oh, yeah, let's go explore these woods. Come on, Ray. Although I do not think this will be a scary encounter, I wonder if we'll see anything out of the ordinary. Yeah, me too. I don't want to go in the woods. Uh, I don't need I'm wearing Someone somewhere is walking in the distance. And when he comes, if he draws his steel, so will I. And I will face him as any brave man would. You know, Ray, this is not Dungeons and Dragons. This is the real world. Come on, man. Don't you want to see or have a little adventure? See what that noise was all about? Or who the hell or what the hell made that? You know, Ray, Mia might be right. There might be something in here with us that's dangerous and that could potentially kill us. I agree very much. You guys actually believe that assholery? I'm telling you, there's nothing to fear in these woods. You guys watched way too many horror movies. Guys, come on, we have to see what it is. I mean, we can't just leave that, the, the, like we've just gone so far. We can't just leave the one stone unturned. Uh, yeah, we can. Really though? Yeah. You know, maybe we should turn back. Even though I don't believe in this bowl, I want to find out what's in here and that I don't want to die. I've heard someone died in these woods. Maybe this isn't a good idea. And I know that you think this is assholery, but we have to get out of here. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to tell these people. Oh, hey! God, Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Oh, oh! Guys, look, it's Zach. <sighs> Guys. What is it? We gotta go up to the field. Then I'll tell you. Come on. We don't have to worry about venomous snake bites and poison ivy. That snake was scary. Nah, I just want to I think I got poison ivy. Oh, man. Guys, boy, do I have a story to tell you. Hi, Zach. Hey. Yeah, how are you? Um, what you doing? I, can, I hear like some splashing sounds. Yeah, hey. 
uh, uh, I'm just skipping rocks. I'm good. Just skipping rocks. Uh oh. I tried doing that once. I was unsuccessful. Cooper, do you think you could meet, um, you know, you know, meet us at the uh, the field? Where do you want me to be? Oh, oh, okay, the field. Um, everybody just found me in the woods. Um, I. I got something to tell you, man. That's crazy. You're not going to believe me. You got to get here right now. Uh, I'll be there right away, actually. See ya. So it's, it's been a little bit um, since I since I just called Cooper. So we're just gonna wait a little bit. I mean, I suppose I could just tell Cooper separately. You guys really want to hear the story? Yeah, tell us. Well, all right. I'm just gonna warn you. It's it's uh it's it's pretty. Crazy, but I I can assure you that it is true. So, all right, I'll tell it. What is it I want? I was going to tell you. Well, okay, I'll tell you. But it's it's a little to it's a little to take in. It's quite a lot, actually, to take in. I... Just earlier, I... I said goodbye to my friend, to my friend Robbie. And... and you know, I left, and... Then I heard a sound, and... It was him, it was Robbie. And he was... He was... He was screaming. So... Naturally, I... I returned, I, I ran, I... I ran to go see if he was okay because obviously he screamed. And I found myself in the woods. And then I I, I, I found him dead. And then there was someone else. There was someone else in there. And someone someone wearing a a, a gray sweatshirt and and a, and, a, and a black hood over over his head and you might be asking how do I know it was a it was male how do, how do I how do I know it was a, a him well I said I said to him I said to him take that off I said I told him I told him to take off his hood I told him to take the damn and, thing off and you, you want to know what I saw? You know what? You want to know what I saw under that hood? It was me. Me. My face. My face. On the head of a killer. And they they called him they called him kidnapper. That's that's what my friend Robbie said. The kidnapper. And the kidnapper, he, he killed my friend, Robbie. And he killed my other friends, too. He killed Liam, and he killed Landon. And then, and then I, I ran here, and I, oh, oh, this, this is just, you must all think I'm crazy, huh? I might seem a bit, uh, worked up about it, huh? Let me tell you something. 
I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy at all. I don't know what the hell happened, but I know that I was not imagining it. And the reason I'm so worked up about it is because I don't, it's not because I think I'm crazy. It's because that I know that something is going on in this damn neighborhood. And I am, I'm scared. I'm just, I'm scared. And I don't, I don't know if I've ever been scared before as much as I am now. Zach, I, I don't, that, that, I don't think we can believe something like that. I mean, like, yeah, but maybe, maybe you need some help or something. I mean that in the nicest way possible, but I don't, we just, I don't think that's true. That, that couldn't be possible. You know, I don't really believe in any of that doppelganger stuff and like, all that fantasy creatures and crap. I know I play D&D, but it's just not real. I like horror movies a lot. Some stuff does happen. There are serial killers going around killing people. That's why I didn't think it was a good idea for us to go into the woods. But then we learned it was just you in the woods. Maybe there aren't serial killers in every woods. But now I can safely say that there are none around here. But a doppelganger serial killer? You know, either you're just messing with us or you're insane. But hey, uh, I can help you. We can help you. Yeah, okay. I'm going to have to agree with the others here. I don't know if I can believe that. You are believing in crap. I do not believe in crap. I believe in crap that I saw with my own two eyes, and it is not my imagination. Hey guys, what's going on? Zach, what do you want to talk about? You guys are my friends. It sounds crazy, but why would I just make this all up? I thought I could rely on all of you, but I guess not. Go talk in private, so. All right. It is just important. Um, so like right about here? Yeah, yeah, this is good. So, what do you want to talk about? I don't know. You will put the subject. No, I didn't. You suggested it. So, uh, you say you saw a doppelganger? I did see a doppelganger. Yeah, my doppelganger, and he killed like three people. You silly person. Three. That's not. And I don't know what to do. Doppelgangers are only in movies and fiction, books and stuff. Why are you They're talking in that real? accent? But you know what? It doesn't matter. I, I saw it though. It was me. I saw him in the woods. He killed Robbie. He took off the hood and it was me. And he, he unzipped his gray sweatshirt and he was wearing the, the Beetlejuice shirt. It was him. Maybe we should ask the other mm. They don't believe me anyway. I should just, I should probably just go home. Yeah, I guess so. I'll, I'll believe you. I'll believe you until you're proven wrong. Oh. Hey, Zach, wait up! Uh, Zach, are you sure you don't need help? Like, I can get, I can help you get meds. I take anxiety meds. They really help me. Um, why would I need meds? Because of these doppelgangers you're seeing. Okay, well. <laughs> Not plural. There was only one of them. My doppelganger. I didn't see doppelgangers. I just saw one doppelganger. But I saw him, and he was killing people. So now, like, no one, no one believes me. You need help. Zach, I know what you're going through. I'm not going through anything. You think I'm crazy. Everybody thinks I'm crazy. You think I'm crazy. Ray thinks I'm crazy. Gary thinks I'm crazy. Harold thinks I'm crazy. Cooper thinks I'm crazy, but he doesn't say it. He just says that they're not real. He's trying to convince me they're not real, but they are real. And I saw the doppelganger. I don't need any meds. Whatever you say. I really did see a duplication of myself, an evil version of myself, but none of you want to believe me. Zach.
I really did see a duplication of myself. He was there in the woods. I feel like I said this a million times. He killed Robbie, and he killed Landon, and he killed Liam. And then I ran all the way here, and no one will believe me. I'm sure, I'm sure they're alive, Zach. Zach. No, Zach. no, you do. You all think I'm crazy. Zach. I saw a doppelganger. Stop I saw there. my oh, I saw my doppelganger. Jesus Christ. I have unfinished business I need to attend to. Zach, do you really think everything's gonna be okay? You think, do you think everything's gonna be okay? You think, you think you can run to your friends and tell them what happened and they'll be able to help you. You amuse me. Jesus Christ! I have unfinished business I need to attend to. You can run. You and your friends. You can run. But that doesn't change the fact that I'm here. You can run, but you and your friends, you can never hide forever. What's up, man? Hey, Ray. So, uh, about that story you were telling me earlier. I actually I think it's kind of real. My doppelganger story? Yeah. You know, someone actually relatively has, like, six doppelgangers in the entire world. Like, roughly six? Like, yeah, roughly six. Um, yeah. So, listen, I didn't mean to disagree with you there. It's just because all the other kids that, uh, Peer pressure and all that, so. Yeah. You just wanted to agree with what everyone else was agreeing with? Yeah. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Oh, have Sorry. you seen the movie Us? Us. Us. That, that came out in 2019, right? I think so. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, with Definitely. like, with the, with the people in the, the red jumpsuits, gold scissors. Yeah. Yeah, uh, the same guy who did, uh, like, the movie Get Out. Yeah, that was a crazy movie. Oof, I love that movie. It's probably one of my favorites. Yeah, doppelgangers, they're crazy. Ugh. I never, uh... I never knew I had one. I, didn't, I never knew I had an, an evil one. You know, the, the bodies of, you know, the people I found dead, they're not too far, they're like just over here. You wanna see them? Bodies. That were told by my doppelganger. I'll show you.
Did you hear that? That was a scream. Cooper! Do you hear that? I think that was Cooper. I've got to go check it out. Right, they're Harold and Mia. They're in the woods, and I, and they said they heard a scream. I think it's Cooper. Let's go. Guys, come on, Zach Gray, come on, let's go. Not the ending I'd wish for, lads. Not the one at all. Rest well, little buddy. You've earned it. It was that doppelganger Zach was talking about. Yes. My doppelganger. That's what I've been trying to tell all of you. This, this is not the only body. There's more. I'll show you. Yes. Yes, I'll show you, and I will show you that I was right. This is Robbie, my friend. The first body I discovered. I heard him scream from the woods. He was the one. Who warned me about the kidnapper? All right, just tell us where the bodies are. I wanna get this over with. Let's not linger long. Yeah, I agree. I don't want to be around this body any longer.
I don't want to see this. We're going now. What happened? Well, what happened? No, 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 I don't want to, 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 I don't want Pleasant, is it? See, I told you. I told you I wasn't crazy. I thought that today was going to be a nice, relaxing day of playing Dungeons and Dragons and reading and hanging out with my friends. But I guess not. Hi, Simon. I'd say good morning, but I don't think that would apply to this type of morning. You won't believe what happened yesterday, Simon. i tell you what happened yesterday, but probably won't be able to understand me. So much stuff is going on. It all happened yesterday. Again, you, you probably wouldn't understand me, so I'm not gonna tell you, but... I expect that you probably just came in here to use the guitar. Uh -huh. just gonna leave, aren't you?
Baby Galani. I'm not going to kill you now, but I want to warn you. I will be killing more people. And if you get in my way, I will kill you. Ray. You all right? I'm good. Where are you off to? Harold and the others are down by the abandoned woods. I'm heading over there now. They asked me to come get you. I just, I just ran into um, the kidnapper. He, uh, 
he said he would be killing more of us and if I got in the way he he would kill me so I don't really know what to do do you know why they're meeting at the woods most likely something to do with the kidnapper but don't worry we'll figure it out probably we'll do something come on man let's go Hey, did you see it on the news this morning? Some kid named Greg Matthews was found dead in the woods across the street from Hayward's. By Hayward's? I love Hayward's. Awesome ice cream. Ice cream? Hayward's? That's what you're so happy about? That's what you're so intrigued by? I don't care where they found Greg Matthews. I just care that they found him. Because obviously that means the kidnapper's killing more people. All right, hey man, sorry. Just hungry for ice cream, that's all. It's fine, man, it's fine. I just, I'm just very scared. I'm afraid. I don't know what's about to happen, but my doppelganger has to be stopped. That much is clear. Let's just catch up with the others. I'm sorry I called you a half-wit. That's fine. I, I shouldn't have started that argument. You'd make a great DM, honestly. Same as well. You'd make a great one, too. Dap me up. Still friends? Still friends. Let's try not to have any more disagreements about Dungeons and Dragons. I agree. I mean, we'd both make great DMs. Yeah. Maybe we could take turns. Works for me. Anyways... Whatever this problem is, I hope we can solve it and we both survive this. Same man. Honestly, I wish Cooper was still here. Same man. He'd be able to solve a lot more. Yeah. That stupid doppelganger of Zach's murdered him in cold blood. I want to kill that asshole. Me too, man. Hey, Harold, uh, Ray's on his way with Zach, right? Yeah, he should be. He just texted me a little bit ago. Never thought I'd get caught up in a murder rap. Merrimack of all places, God. Yeah, I don't think I've ever encountered an event like this before. It's, I just never thought this would ever happen. It's like our neighborhood will never be the same. Hey guys. Hey, and uh, Look who I brought. <sighs> Guys, I got some words to say. And what words will you be telling us, Master Harold? Even though Cooper is dead, we must not give in. We must not give up hope. I know that things seem bleak with this evil doppelganger running amok, killing us. But we know who he is. We know he's Zach. Zach's doppelganger will not kill us all. And if we give in our hope, then we might as well kill ourselves. As there is no purpose without hope.
Yes. Yes, Harold. I agree. No truer words that have ever been spoken here. Well said. Harold's right, I just heard something. I know you're here, Zach. I know that you and your friends are here. There is nowhere to run. Jesus Christ, guys. Run, run, run! Help him up, help him up! We gotta go, right now! Guys, come on! Get him off the ground, we have to go! We have to go now! Run! Where's Gary? We must have left him down at the road in the woods. He's still down there with the kidnapper. We have to go back and get him. If, if he really is still at the road, then the, the kidnapper's over there. He, he might... We have to go now. It's too late. What about all that stuff that Harold said? We are going to kill this doppelganger. We are not going to let him kill anybody else. Do you hear me? I swear. We are going to kill him. We were going to try, but he's just way too powerful. Your evil duplication is stronger than you, Zack. We don't stand a chance against him. I'm going back. I'm going back to get Gary. Who's coming with me? Huh? Who's coming with me? Zack. I'll go with you. <sighs> Val in there tight. Yeah, it's on. It's on good. <sighs> oh my gosh. All right, Zach. I'll go down to the road. Come on. Oh, hope we can get there in time to save him. Me too, man. Me too. Oh. 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 
You all right, man? I'm fine. I just need to go maybe a bit slower. I'll, I'll catch up with you. Let's go. All right then. Catch up with you can. I hope they can save them. Why the hell am I just sitting here? So what if the doppelganger is powerful? Oh my god, I should have gone with them! Where'd you go, you piece of crap? Where'd you go? Huh? You big asshole? What? You scared to come and kill me? Come get me! Come get me, you bastard! Come get me, you bastard! Come take my life away! But I won't let you! Come on, show me what you got! You bastard! Just come out so I can fight you. Peekaboo, Gary.
Gerald. Found him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Zach? Gary? Zach? Harold? It's you. Guys? What was wrong? He stabbed me. Gary. No, Gary, it's, it's gonna be all right. All right, Gary, we'll, we'll, it's gonna be all right. We'll... Harold, get over here. It's gonna be okay, Gary. I'll call, I'll call the, I'll call, okay, I'll call now, I'll call, I'll call an ambulance. Uh, no! Oh my, sorry, my phone's dead. Harold! Harold, you help me! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Gary, I'm sorry. <coughs> go, go, leave me here, save yourself. <coughs> You've already done enough. You came and tried to save me, to find me. <coughs> I'm afraid I won't make it. Just go. Do you hear me? <coughs> God damn it. Just go. Get your asses out of here. It doesn't matter if I live <coughs> or <coughs> die. Your main priority is to kill that doppelganger. I want you to kill that son of a bitch. Do you hear me? Kill that son of a bitch for all of us that have died. <coughs> that is my last dying wish. Goodbye, Zach and Harold. He's really gone. <sighs> I knew we shouldn't have left him. I'm sick gone. of this. Can't. Can't. I, I told you. I told you that there was a doppelganger Can't. going around. My doppelganger. I told you he was killing people. I got you to believe me, Harold. I did. But this would not have happened if everybody had believed me 
from the start. We could have taken precautions. We. This is. This is my fault. I should have. We. We're a bunch of. We're a bunch of cowards. We just. We just ran. We left. We left and we ran. We didn't. We didn't even realize that that we that we left Gary behind. And now look what happened. I swear, no one, no one else is gonna die. I'm gonna make sure of that. Zach, we gotta get out of here. Son of a bitch. Hi, Zach. Guys, come on, let's go. We gotta fight him. Where is it? <sighs> anything, anything, please. Uh, yeah, no, no. <sighs> Ray, get over here. Ray, get over here. The kidnapper's right here. Get whatever weapon you can find. Well, as the children would say, P-A-R-T-Y Cause I gotta I, Raymond Dackerfeld, shall kill this bastard Wait for me! Finish him off, Mia. Do it now. Take this, you son of a bitch!
For Zach. We gotta leave him. Come on. Get your asses over here now. No, Zach. Come on, Harold. The kidnapper. That's what they call you, don't they? I never knew that the machete man was a cousin to my doppelganger. I never knew you or I had a connection with, with Chicken Face or, or the, the machete man. I, I see you drugged me and brought me here to this, to, to the middle of nowhere. That's why they, that's why they call you the, the, the kidnapper, don't they? Or what should I call you? My name is Zack as well. I am from another alternate dimension. A dimension of the doppelgangers of you, your friends, and the people of your world. We are your doppelgangers. And now, to get back to my dimension, I must target and kill several people who in my world are your friends' doppelgangers. Doing so, I will open a portal back to my home. The doppelgangers of your friends, Gary, Harold, Cooper, Ray, Maya, Robbie, Liam, and Landon are my friends, are my friends, 
But here in this world, I must kill each one of them to get back to where I belong. You will stay here, and I will go and end the lives of your friends. Isn't there a deal we can make? No. There isn't a deal we can make. I must get back to my world. I have to kill your friends. There can't be two Zacks in this same dimension. I belong in my dimension, the dimension of the doppelgangers, and you belong here. It's the only way. Killing all your friends here in your world is enough power to open a gateway to the dimension of the doppelgangers, the friends, your friends, who are left to be killed are Maya, Ray, and Harold. Killing them will be powerful enough to open a gateway to my dimension. What if you killed me instead? Just me. Kill you? Instead of your friends, give up yourself for the lives of your last three friends? Yeah. From one Zack to another, what if I gave my life for theirs? To kill three friends is a lot of power to open a gateway to my world. But... Killing you, this dimension's version of me, that, that would be, that would be powerful enough to open the gateway. So do it. Kill me and let my friends go. All I ask is that I say goodbye to my friends first. As you wish. Where do you wish to die? At my house. In the front yard. I'll meet you there. And you'll meet me there too. If you want your friends to live.
It's Zach, Zach me boy, come on. He's back. Wow, it's Zach. He turned the tide. to your friends yet, Zach? See that? You know what that is? Your friend, Gary. That's his blood. You wanna touch it? I didn't think so. You have chosen to cooperate. Smart move, Zach. Smart move. I'm going to let you kill me. I don't care if you have to kill people to open a portal to your realm. You killed some of my friends. Do you think I'm just going to forget about that? We will never forget! Never! You disgusting, vile creature. And this is what happens when you cross paths with me, doppelganger. We're gonna kill you. You deserve to die, you monster. We're gonna kill you, but we're gonna regret it. We're gonna regret it because you know why? You know, you ask why, ask why. Because we're gonna regret that we didn't kill you in a more painful way. That Zach.
Does anybody want to play Dungeons and Dragons? Uh, Raymond Daggerfeld, son of Dagenfeld, is ready to play Dungeons and Dragons. Gary gave me a, a lucky set of dice. I think it's time I use them. If Gary was still alive, I didn't let him be the dungeon master. We all miss him, Harold. And we'll miss Cooper, too. Look, I think a quick game of D&D will take our minds off this a bit. <laughs> I'll get my Raymond Daggerfeld costume on! Are you excited to trick or treat? Yeah. yeah. Why aren't you wearing a costume? I don't care about costumes. I just want the candy. Why aren't you wearing a costume? Well, because I probably thought the same thing as you did. Hey, where's uh, where's Ray? Wait, look, it's him. <laughs> it's the Lockwood. It's the Lockwood. <laughs> it's the Lockwood. <laughs> oh, hey, Ray. You excited to trick or treat? Yes. Okay. Gary. Where's your costume? Candy. candy. I wish Gary and Cooper were here, though. Yeah, same. Well. It's told that spirits of the dead come to the living world on Halloween. I guess Possibly. that is true. I guess we both see them.
Thank <laughs> you. 